Hello, today I will be showing you how to make a tank. Let's get into the tutorial. First, grab some motorized wheels. Disable the collision on the top part, but turn on collision on the bottom. And now you get the support wheels, or whatever it's called. You flip a metal rod. Get a wheel. Strap the wheel with the pin tool to the rod. And now the rod to the motorized wheel. And the motorized wheel to the others. Repeat the same with the other side. Disable the collision on the rod. And now save your tank. You don't want these ads destroying your build. I'm just double checking if I save the tank. Maybe you should do that too. You select all of the tank, pull it up, and freeze it. You make some wooden sticks. This will take a while, so I sped it up. And now, you put the pins to the sticks. You may see that this is insufficient for the track base. So you continue adding sticks. Put the pins on the sticks when ready. This may take a while so I sped it up again. When you are finished, you place the tracks on the base. It may be insufficient, so you add more tracks. The tracks is dropping, this isn't the best for performance. So you add a wheel thing. Or make it tighter.
If you see the track wheel support is glitching, maybe it's best for letting the track drop. I decided to put an extra support wheel. So you add a wheel and a rod. You pin the rod to wheel and rod to the wheels. If it looks a bit weird then you put the wheel support down. There you go, you now have a new track space. Now you save it, make sure to save regularly. Now for the exciting bit. You make the body. You can copy me or make your own body. Remember that some of these parts have to have disabled collision, like the turret ring, the rod I'm making. And the turret front needs disabled collision. And the motorized wheel need disabled collision. Otherwise it would glitch a lot. And the cannon breach, the tiny rod. It needs unbreakable wire. Remember to connect everything. And the entire turret needs to be connected. Remember that the turret front and back go to the turret ring, not the body around the turret ring. Freeze everything. And save.
As you can see, you can fit a melon or two in there. If the tank isn't large enough, you can configure it to your desired size. By selecting everything, press Resize, and then Resize. Now we need to make the floor of the tank. Remember to disable collision on the floor. And resize until it touches the body of the tank. If the floor is off the body, making too large, then you move the floor. If you don't want to move your floor up, then you can just connect a rod from floor to body. Disable collision on the rod. Now connect everything. Including the track wheels. Disable collision on the melons. Make them a chair, kind of like this. Since your melon is not having collision, you connect the melon to the chair and the two sticks on the chair to each other. We aren't done yet. You lift up a leg, then connect the two legs to the bottom stick. You disable collision on the chair, and copy. You connect the gunner chair to the turret ring. Copy area can be found in Save section. Copy the melon. Connect driver's seat to the floor. You can connect the hands to chair if you want. Now for structural support. This will stop the tank from glitching easily. Remember to disable collision on the structural support. You can add as much as you want. After all, the more the less glitchier.
and make sure to connect the support to other structural support or body. Now for engine area. This will give tank explosiveness. Most important part is landmine. This will trigger the explosions. And Molotov. This will set the tank on fire, along with C4. A landmine by itself isn't potent and auto destroy a tank. Connect it all to structural support or the body. And connect to each other. You don't want the Molotov breaking. Setting tank on fire. Or the entire tank glitching. Which I've annoying. Now for ammunition. Set your barrel to your desired thickness. Get a grenade and make it just barely fit inside the barrel. It could be a landmine if you wanted immediate fire. Or a C4 if you wanted some serious recoil. The C4 or landmine could break the entire tank. Get as many grenades as you wanted, and the extra is for after effects. Explosives can't be set off using blunt force in this game. Next get bottle, and make it unbreakable. Resize it to the thickness of the grenade. Get a wing and then make it disable collision. Resize it to the thickness of the bottle, and you can make it as long as the entire shell. Connect it all. For the wing, it gets connected with the bottle. Save your brand new shell. You make an ammo rack in the vehicle. I did copy, for times dot you can do as much as you want. You can make the ammo rack look as you want.
Put the ammo rack in the vehicle and connect it with the tank. Save the tank. And make sure it can be loaded perfectly. If it doesn't go through the breach, then your breach probably has collision, or your gun simply is too small. Save your tank. If your cannon drops down, disable gravity on the barrel and save it. And it's done, your brand new tank has been finished. For firing, you activate the first grenade, the one closest to the breach. Like and subscribe to the video.